All right, so try to make this video as quick as I can. Um, this is gonna obviously deal with the outfit customization. I'm going to teach you guys how to farm this stuff um, probably the fastest way, other than unless you want to pay for, um, you know, Heartland DLC. You can unlock clothes in Heartland, but who the hell wants to just pay for the Heartland DLC to unlock free content? I mean, not me. And not only that, uh, if you already have Heartland, you'd have to basically, you know, delete your save and restart it again to unlock. It's just... It's terrible. If you have a brand new Heartland or a Heartland you don't care about, then it's easy to do. But uh, I just want to show a few things. All right, first things first, we're going to go over the things that are unlocked and not unlocked. So from just nothing, you get all the denim jackets. You get five flannel shirts. The others, you have to really pay attention to what it says here. Search containers in houses to find item. Now, the majority of the things you're going to be looking for and finding are going to be in houses containers in houses now there are a few as you can see here this is says surplus stores gun stores retail shops so I'll go over what what they what they mean by that um, later again you get five and then most of these are in containers in houses leather jackets are the only item that is specialized there's two that are can be found just in containers and houses, these two. The others are map specific. So this one has to be found in Cascade Hills in a house. This one, Drucker, and this one, Meager. The ninja hoodies are pretty, some of them, again, these. this one is in the house, house. This one could be in a house, a gun store, or retail shops. Same with this one, houses, gun. So you could, you could technically get all of them in Houses, just searching in houses. Those. Puppy, puffy vests, you get five of them as well. And these, again, most of them are searching. The puffy vest has one that's in a house. And the others are in surplus stores, gun stores, retail shops. Skeleton hoodie is an unlock from the bounty broker. This is a special one that will be unlocked on October through the 25th just by logging into the game. And the tactical uniforms, these are specialized also. They can be in police station, military outposts, surplus, surplus stores. And we'll go over what those are. And, these, and this one actually says military medical sites. So I'll go over what those are. Hats. You don't get, you don't get any army caps. And these are... And house, military outposts, military roadblocks, which are another thing. Most of these can be in houses, but the military roadblocks, we'll go over what those are. Baseball caps, you get all of those. Cowboy hats. Now, a lot of people were asking, you know, what the hell is a farm in this game? Where do you find the cowboy hats? They're all in farm containers and farms and campgrounds. I will go over that. Dockyard caps are the beanies, regulars. You get all of these. Flat brim caps, if you like them, you get all of these. Juggernaut mask is a cash boomant unlockable. The knit caps, 
can be found only in containers and houses. The military helmets. These are also police stations, military outposts, surplus stores. And this is special to that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to have one community already done. And you don't... There is an issue with legacy survivors and finding... Work keeps us alive. I got shit to do. And finding items. If you use a legacy survivor... Uh, and you find a clothing item, they will pick it up and put it in their inventory instead of actually um, unlocking it. But the way around that is, if you just throw it in your locker and you have somebody that's not a legacy survivor, then take it out of the locker, it un immediately unlocks. Now you see this military stash? This is considered an outpost. So anything that says, like uh, this one, Military outposts are going to be these. They're usually seen on the map um, as a little tower. We'll see if we can find something here just to show you. But what you would want to do is you want to start a new community on any map you want to start on. Um, it's really up to you. And then you just want to search, unlock things, you know, as quickly as possible, and then delete that save that community and then start again and you want to do it with like i said random survivors because of the actual i don't know i'm carrying all this shit i don't need it because um the legacy survivors are glitched all right so that is an outpost um a, a surplus store or an ammo store is gonna be a gun shop which some of them say gun shop, but some of them are, are like, I think it's like this one, uh, survivalist store. It may say um, army, navy store, but it's any store that's going to have weapons in it. Any of the gun stores, they all look the same. They're just, some of them are called gun shops, but, but they're all the same thing. For me, all you're going to do is quickly search through these things and get out of there. See? A ninja hoodie camo right there. Bam. I hear you I don't even pay attention to these idiots. You just do your searching and go move on. Unless they do that shit where the fucking end this, you know, that's kind of fucking annoying as shit. You know what's really annoying is this is like day zero and I'm getting swarmed over fucking nonsense. This is what drives me nuts about this game, dude. It's like, this is day zero. You don't even know what the blood plague is and they're gonna just fucking do this to you, really? But, again, you just want to search as quickly as you can. If you can't find the last box, don't feel bad about it. It's probably on the roof or whatever. Don't worry about it. Those are the military surplus stores. You know, that's a surplus store or whatever. Now, or a gun shop. It's considered a gun shop, a surplus store. That's what they're talking about. When they're saying uh, unlock that. Like this one you'll see. I'll just throw it on for the heck of it. I do want to make a point about houses. Now houses, that which are the majority of the... Will have the clothing items are just this. You see old homestead, or it'll say old house, old home. That is just this. That does not include this. Do not search these areas. They will not have any clothing in them. It's specifically just the house. Anything to the side of it, or a little off, like this little thing here, will not have anything in it. Nothing will be in those. 
So when they say searching containers in houses, they literally mean it in the house. Cannot be any of the surrounding buildings or anything that looks like it maybe. Even the garages. There's going to be nothing in garages. You see? Leather jacket. Boom. Found. And you're going to notice um, also in the beginning when you're doing your searches that the clothes are going to come quickly. Okay? So because there's a lot of clothes to unlock. So you can see I, I barely searched anything here and I already found two items. One, so one bit of advice I could give is search for the things you want to unlock first because those will be the highest chance of unlocking meaning they will pop up first it, at least that's what i found now these are not considered retail stores tarted mart forget those forget the clinics okay forget value wagon this is what you're talking about when it says like a retail shop it's these little things like this in little strip malls. We'll see if we can find something in one of these. Some of them will say they're a shop. Some don't. But this is what they mean by like a, a, a retail shop. It's like one of these little pop-up little things. and like They're usually in a strip like this. Uh, one of them actually says pawn shop on it there's a pawn shop in a few of these locations this one didn't have anything but one of these should have some clothing in it oh, i need that because these guys are getting really freaking annoying dude Unfucking believable these guys dude. It's like they just do not there's no fucking chill with these assholes, bro But yeah, you'll see that's all you want to do you just want to get in and out ignore those idiots the best you can if they get too much in your way Grab like Molotovs like I did so if you get a large large group that's really kicking your ass you know Grab any of this stuff you can as well, so you can just heal up as needed. And just try to, quickly as you can, go through the stuff and get out. <laughs> These guys are fucking assholes, dude. I hate, I hate them, though. I hate this too, when I'm, if this shows the search and then the search goes away. Oh, that was a pile of clothes, which is funny, but that doesn't count as anything to unlock. I'll show you how to find the cowboy hats right after this. I was just hoping that one of these things was going to have some clothing in it. But these are the retail stores anyway, these little shops. Maybe we'll see one on the other side. Uh, forget the fruit stands. These little fruit stands, too, will have absolutely nothing. Now, farms and stuff like that. For the cowboy hats, you want barns. Any barns, like this. Like this thing. Let's see if we can find one in here. See, it says onion farm. And usually, they're two stories. They have the ladder. But these are where you're going to find all the cowboy hats. And assholes that will just spawn and jump on your back. Like this dickhead. Are you serious? Like, dude. This is getting, like, super fucking annoying, dude. Like. Oh, you're gonna bite me in the leg now, you asshole? But there's, like... And again, it's not showing me the... the the last container, I'm not going to worry about because it it's bullshit. I suggest doing the same thing. If you can't find the last one, because they, I swear they move the last one around when you're looking for it. Don't, don't, even, don't even bother with it. Just freaking get out of there.
Over here is another uh, barn. This one may have a cowboy hat, I would think. Of course, this asshole is like... It's like th these guys, I mean, this is like the tutorial. Like, I have nothing, no boons unlocked just to show this. And they are being such assholes right now, bro. They're like super try hard in me. What's crazy is this only has two things to search. That's nuts, dude. This should have like five or six things. And of course, now I can't find the other thing, which is awesome. Two things in this whole barn, really? Really, game? Really? Are you gonna do it like that? Cowboy hat? Med. I'll take it. But we're gonna find a fucking barn that has a hat, okay? Because this is bullshit. But down here, you will see another thing that is considered a uh, military outpost, roadblock, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's basically a military thing that you, you can find. I found tactical outfits in these things. I found the helmets. I found the army caps. So it's not just, you know, the, the gun stores and that kind of stuff. These warehouses, too, will never have anything. Avoid the warehouses. Avoid the gas stations. They don't have anything. The tanker ga gas tankers like these here, Bronto gas, net, they don't have any items. This is another one that's considered, like I said, see Army Navy outfitters. This is considered a surplus store or a gun shop. And these, again, are the little strip retail shops. I would really like to find a piece of clothes in here just so I could show you. Not my, that's not my favorite, dude. I think that one always has that in there. I, hope nothing hurt that. I don't care if they did. Don't care. But you see, this is basically what you want to do. You just want to drive, get your... Yeah, these, I think those are stuff like that. But this store will, I bet you anything, will probably have another piece of clothing in it. It's a puffy vest. Desert camo. I hear you motherfuckers lurking around. That's right. Tell them. Tell them not to lurk. Tell them we don't like it. And they, dude, they are like so like tryharding, bro. This is like so... But anyway, that's that story. I just wanted to show you. I'm not playing with these guys because they're just being assholes right now. Like, major assholes. But there's a good example down here of the military outposts. Both of them. The roadblock and the military tents. Which is right here. Both of these things can have clothing items or helmets. This thing, so anything on the map that shows like these little roadblock things... This is what they consider a military checkpoint. It, it may say medical, but that's what they talk about, you know, as far as, like, unlocking those things. This, they're giving me really shit unlocks as far as, like, I can get, like, one or two items in almost everything. This is, like, ridiculous. Again, you want to do what I'm doing, which is... Why is that crate freaking glowing like that? Isn't that weird? What the hell is that thing? Why is that doing that? Fuck off, you. Isn't that weird? See this thing? It probably wants me to bring... I don't know why he's doing that, dude. That is like the weirdest thing. Oh, whatever. This is what they consider like a military tent. There's a couple of them in Meager Valley. Um, these roadblocks are on a, a lot of the maps. Of 
but I was really hoping I'm, we're gonna find one. We're gonna go down here because I know, I know this map. I know all the maps, but this one I know. So here's another barn. We're gonna get us a cowboy hat. I don't give a shit. If we gotta hit every barn on this map. We're gonna get one. Yeah, this is what they call them farms. Sometimes even barns. It's just either either or. And of course, the no, the fucking tryhard zombies are just fucking. Sometimes I just knock them down and move on because it's ridiculous. No time. And close hunting, no time for this shit. You just fucking get what you get and get out. See? There's one right there. But these assholes are fucking with me, dude. But see? Cowboy hat. Boom. Like I said. In the, in the farms, these are what they consider the farms. It may say farm like this, Lake U Farm, but it's any of these barn building types. Any of them. And houses, like I said, will be just the houses like those. The only thing really left to show you is the surplus stores. which The retail stores, what they mean by that. So you guys know cowboy hats are going to be in those barns. Uh, anything that says a house container has to be in a house. This is another example I'm just going to show you. When they say house, they mean house. So it has to say this bungalow or th this house. If you want into this, nothing in these garages count as far as towards clothing. So don't even bother searching any of that shit. This map has a large amount of farms, so if you're looking for all the cowboy hats and stuff, this would be a good map. But here's another area here, like this is mostly warehouse, there will be nothing in these, in these buildings at all. Nothing. So don't even bother searching any of that. Now there's some that say campgrounds or fairgrounds. What they're talking about are these these little things here. Like there, I think there's like one or two maybe on a map. And these these guys will sometimes have the things, the items that are from barns and stuff like that. Like you could find a, uh, a cowboy hat here, but for me, it's been mostly um, it's been all the barns. The barns I found everything. I, I hate, I hate these guys, bro, just let me fucking search, Jesus, dude. Fucking such assholes, man. It never used to be like this so crazy on day zero. But yeah, this is what, let me see if I can even show you, they probably won't even let me show you, but. If you see, um. Farms and campgrounds. That's what they mean by campgrounds, okay? Is these little things here. You could find in here. I didn't this one, but I mostly did the barns because the barns are everywhere. They're everywhere. There's even one right up here. These things here. There's another barn. So Meager Valley, if you want all the cowboy hats or whatever, bro, they're all over the place in this map. It's a plague heart, because I really don't want to go in there for this. Let's see if we can find another one. There probably, there probably will be another cowboy hat in here. Maybe. Look at him just spawning zombies inside of the barn, bro. Like, that guy just spawned... This is what I'm talking about. It's like, look at, look at this shit, dude. Like, what is this, dude? They already try hard and super jumpy. There's one more. 
You guys calm down enough? Are you not running all over the freaking place? Assholes? More to see. Oh, it's in the dam, that thing over there. But again, with this house, this house here would have stuff. This little thing next to it would not. Over here, this map I think has three of the medical tents. So Meager is, is a pretty good map to find like the tactical gear and that kind of stuff. If you're looking for that first, which is you pretty much the, the best of the stuff that I think they released. I'll go over each one, but here's another medical tent here. This could have the army caps. Let's see if anything pops up here. Could use that, but could use it when there's not 50 of these idiots trying to jump at me at the same time. Out of the way. But yeah, this tent didn't have anything, which sucks, but over here. There's another gun shop. And these will be, like I said, the more gun shops on a map, the more chances to get, you know, military type stuff. And you wanna you wanna do exactly what I'm doing. Just move through these things as quickly as possible. Search them, get them done, and then get out of there. If you can't find the one or two boxes. You know, don't sit there for 20 minutes trying to find the last thing because they're going to be doing this shit to you, what they're doing to me. She's like, you know. This is so, this is so annoying, dude. These son of a bitches are so fucking annoying sometimes. He's here. I've seen it. Yeah, so this one didn't have anything. But you see how it'll start off like that. If you're just trying to unlock stuff, they'll start popping up like two, three, four things really quickly. And then it slows down. It just has to do something with the drop rate. You know, they give you a little taste and then they make you work for the rest. Like you really got to grind the hell out of this, so... Again, don't search these electrical places. They won't have anything. These warehouse things and the tankers down here on the right will not have anything. Do not search them. Bronto gas, nothing. The auto shops, nothing. Jesters, nothing. These little nothings on here on the left, like the, the, the um, what's it called? The, the taverns, nothing. Now, here we are. This is the retail store, so... Really would like to find something here. Oh, a play card. That's nice. Laundry City. You would think this one would have clothes in it 100% of the time. You know, it would make sense. It's a laundry mat. I mean, uh, don't know why there wouldn't be clothes in here. But. Should be. But these are re the retail stores anyway. One of these should have something, man.
See? Here we go. I'm not going to pick it up for a second just to show you. See, that desert will we'll just, just to show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go to um, flannel desert camel. Desert camo, right? Really quickly. Just so you can see. You see this? Search containers in surplus stores, gun stores, and retail shops. This is what I'm talking about for a retail shop. Is one of these things. One of these little strip, strip mall guys, dude. So that's all I wanted to show. So you now know this is what they're talking about. And it could be these little two guys here. But it's always these strip guys. See, this one is even say shop. So these kind of give you a little a hint. Antique shop. Abandoned shop. Those could have clothes. I mean, I could search it. But these are what they're talking about when they're talking about retail shops. So any of these little strip small stores, you always want to go in there and search them. Because these are where those types of clothes, or clothing items, I should say, will be. Not in what you would think. Not in Bronto Gas. Not in, like I said, any of those fun, the restaurants, uh, Swine and Beauville. None of that. It's all these little, little stores here. That's what the hell they're talking about. Here's another gun shop. So that's really it. You want to search these little strip stores, these gun shops like this one, whatever they are called. They may be called a gun shop. They may be called Army Navy, but those are what they're talking about. The houses, but not any of the garages. The farms are going to be anything that's called a farm, but they're mostly barns, like I showed you guys. And police station is a police station. I mean, there, there's only like one on each map. So anything that says police station, obviously there's going to be police station. But like this map, since the police station is a base, it's not a good one for searching for police, any, any items that are with, you need to get from a police station. Like Drucker County would be good because that has an open one. But here's, here's a perfect other one. This one is a big abandoned outpost for military. So there will probably be a tactical outfit in here. But if you notice this little stand, this stand doesn't even count as part of the outpost. I don't know if you, you picked that up. But you see this? Now the outpost is going to start when it pops up. See, now it starts over here. See that? So we'll just see if there's a tactical outfit in here. Um, may or may not be, but this is where you're going to get most of your tactical outfit outfits. All the ones I found, at least. Like right, here we go. Look at this. We got an army cap and a tactical uniform black. So we'll just uh, that's two. That's two, and we'll just take a look really quickly as what I, so you can see before we pick it up. Like I was saying, tactical uniform, they're all, these could be in military uh, police stations, these two, but military outposts for all of them. So you could find any of them in military outposts. Because see the black one even says police stations. I don't know why they have the, the words reversed on some of these, but you know, like military outposts in, in front and then police station in the other. But all of these can be found in this type of uh, base, the military outposts, and the army caps too. All of them, I'm pretty sure, yeah, well these can be in house, but this is the one I think that's in there, the military outposts, military outposts, and the others are in the houses. And these are, yep, the camo one and the black. Tactical, but you can see, you can see how quickly you can find some of these things if you, if you just know the right buildings to look in you know and also this is a thing too like 
You see, this is the military outpost. And there's more things to search down here. But if you notice, this is not part of the military outpost. So this would not count. You would not want to search that. But I think that's a pretty good example of where to find every item. So again, we'll go over really quickly. I'll stand up here so I'm not taking down. Because there's a lot of things, you know, there are different things they say in here to search. But the main, I'm just telling you the main things to find, to find the most things, okay? The most chances of finding all the items. Houses are going to be your a main thing, like I said, but always search in the house, never the surrounding area of the house. Military outposts. And roadblocks, those little roadblocks, the outposts, surplus stores are basically gun shop shops, but they're not labeled gun shops. They could be Army Navy or the other one we saw, Armwell, whatever it was called. So any map that has a lot of those is good, like Meager Valley, you just saw, is pretty good for that. So you will search those. On the map, I will show you also, this is what they're talking about for military outposts, is like these little towers military uh tents or military um outposts or whatever this is what they're talking about these little tents with the um, little plus military sign this as you can see is a gun shop but it could be called like this one was um army and navy outfitters same thing just they just called it a different thing this is a campground but for most of the cowboy hats as you saw they're going to be in these things, the things that are Lakeview Farms, or they will be called barns, either or. Like, I think this one was a barn. Yeah, it could be called barn or a farm. It's the same thing. I found everything in those. Uh, nothing I know is in the regular medical clinics. Everything that I know are in these medical tent outposts. So if they say medical outpost tent, or medical outpost, this is what they're talking about, these little tents. These are the um, roadblocks, or, the, or also considered military outposts. These little, it looks like a little couple of X's together, like a little barricade. So definitely search those. And uh, the police station is just the police station. But if the item can be found in the military outpost also, you might as well look in the military outpost. Because it just doesn't make any sense to go to just the police station if... All of the items can be like like I was saying here. If you look at like the RB caps. Example. This says military outpost, military roadblock, surplus. Most of the things that are in police stations. Like can be found as you can see here. Military outpost and the surplus stores. The surplus stores are those gun shops. That's what they're talking about. See, so police stations, if, if it's like this, where you could find a bunch of the different things, then it's okay to go on a police station, but you could go on a military outpost because you saw. And the other location, the only other thing you, else you want to search are these strip stores. Like you saw, I found, I um, forgot what it was. We found something in there, but it's these guys here. What was that? It was right next to the, yeah, it was the, the play cards. But it's like these, Sud City, Nail Salon, Spoon and Cone. It's these, whenever you see these little strip stores together, together that's the retail shops. And like these two things here. And these are labeled shops, so you know. But the things you don't want to search, trailer parks. Any trailers will not have anything. Any rear storage, these taverns, nothing. House is good, but like this is a good example. The house will have something, but the garage, just because it's close, nothing. Nothing in garages. It's only houses. Nothing in the gas stations. Nothing in the auto repair. Nothing in the fire stations. So don't waste your time if you're clothes farming in any of those. Nothing will be in any of the warehouses ever. So never go into like these warehouses. You will you know, never find anything in there. And that is it. If you do that, and then what you would do is basically, once you've gone through the, the, ma the majority of those buildings, you would just exit your game, okay? 
This is considering you do have other communities, okay? Even if you didn't, it would still be part of your save. And then you would just go into Manage Communities, and then you would delete it, and you would start a new one and do a sweep again of those of those specific buildings. Now, you can do Meager, you can do Drucker, do Cascade, whichever you're familiar with or more comfortable with, and you think, you know, whatever you're looking for. But those are the only buildings that are going to have clothing items. So you sweep those, and then you move on. I suggest doing the military outposts first, the police stations first, get all of the items from there, and then work on the things that are only found in houses, because those are going to take the, the longest. For me, that took the longest. I got all of the military stuff done quickly, and then the house stuff was left. I'm going to do a video showing you every single item, um, there's other ways to do this, like you can do it in Heartland, but you have to get rid of your Heartland save if you have it, and you have to buy Heartland if you don't have it. It's just, you don't need to do that, dude. You just have your permanent communities, like like in one of these other slots. This is just an example here. And then just use one slot to create a community, search, delete it, create a community, search, delete it until you unlock all the clothes. That's all you need to do. Forget all that other shit. That's it.